Hello everyone. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you're coming back again, welcome as well. Um, please call me Sensei. And you're joining me today in um, my own apartment at my shamanic altar slash um, virtual classroom where I occasionally come to you and, um, and bring a video that is um, given to be given to me by my spirit help. So I'm going to take a minute just to acknowledge and call them in. Um, and so please get yourself into a comfortable position and um, call in and invite your own spirit help as well. So and <laughs> I'm calling in and acknowledging the fact that my spirit health have been with me um, very actively today in spiritual lesson planning, shall we say, um, for the past couple hours, and um, that I have a very active, um, interactive practice with my my spirit helpers, and that's why I start every uh, every day bringing libations, food, and drink. Um, to offer to my spirit helpers who may not have an ancestral connection with me and also those who um, who do have an ancestral connection. Um, and <laughs> I'm just going to remind, remind myself and everyone that on all of these videos, these are raw, unedited. They I only get one shot. I only get one take because I want to put this out there as as real and as raw and as just live feed downloaded as possible. Um, so with um, <laughs> my ancestors called in, however awkwardly today. Um, I also want to give um, an acknowledgement of the land um, on which I, my dwelling place um, sits here and to the original tenders and stewards of that land, including many peoples, um, including the Chinook, the uh, Cowlitz, the Clackamas, the Multnomah peoples, and many others. Um, and that I am very close within a 10 minute walk from um, a very important uh, spiritual site that would have drawn many of those um, different people um, to this this one area. So I feel very grateful and I feel very in tune with the the activity of um, this area is actually uh, uh, just near a dormant volcano. Um, and um, so the, the land and those who have tended it. Um, is very is very rich um, spiritually so so thank you and also acknowledging that that is unceded land that it was land that was taken forcibly from those people and um, that the what are what is now known today as the um, the federated tribes of Grand Ronde um, took together, they've lost, they've lost the names of the peoples, even in that, in that confederation to come together, they had to lose their identity um, in a lot of ways. So just acknowledging all that went into me being able to occupy space here um, today. So I, <laughs> as I was, I was lesson planning, kind of running things through my head and, and bouncing ideas back and forth with my spirit helpers today. Um, my very first job um, out of when, after I finished university was as an English as a foreign language teacher, and I taught English in Japan. Um, I've also taught um, Japanese as a foreign language here. Um, in America where I live. Um, I've also taught English as a second language here um, very briefly. And I love, love, love teaching people languages. I love um, teaching, you know, the, the whys or, or the little intricacies of why things, why things matter or where they came from or helping to make a connection in understanding. Um, so 
the phrase that I started with um, today is, it's been a minute, um, which is, a, I think, a relatively modern um, English slang phrase, um, meaning uh, another older and a little simpler um, phrase is, it has been a while. And um, the, remembering that the apostrophe S in it's been a minute stands for the whole word has. It's not, it, it is been a minute, it, it's has been a minute. Um, and it really, it's, it's a funny phrase because a minute, 60 seconds, so fast. Um, but what it really means, it's been a long time. Um, and it's been, it's been a long time for me. When I first started uh, my YouTube channel, Rebalancing Time, I was posting videos um, almost every day for a while there. And then it went from posting, 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 and nothing. <laughs> and the reason for that, not that I haven't been thinking of you all, um, not that I haven't thought about, you know, sitting down and making a video, but it simply wasn't my time. It wasn't my turn to be putting things out there um, on the internet. I was very, very active for a while there and I needed a rest. Um, the same as, you know, any any team sports that you, you might play, you know, basketball, football, volleyball, rugby. Um, no one player is out on the field all the time. Everybody has to come back and take a rest because they've been really busy. They've been putting forth a lot of effort. Um, and that's what happens with me sometimes. Um, so it, it is my intention to um, try to make my efforts smaller and more um, sustainable so that I can do them more frequently. I'm not so sort of exhausted. But it all, it all comes down to um, another way to think about it is like a traffic light. You can't have all the cars, you can't have all the people going at the same time in different directions. You need to stop and wait for the other cars and the other people to go. And oh, now it's my turn to go. So we need to give each other space um, and grace. And so I listen um, to my guides for the timing of when it's time um, to start making videos and posting and things like that. So. All right, and so the other thing that it has been a minute on is acknowledging my very first YouTube comment. <laughs> so uh, my very first YouTube question came from uh, Victor Shongwei. And Victor, I have had your question on my board this whole time. <laughs> This whole time since you, um, since you asked the question, is it possible to help someone in far African country? Um, I can't remember the exact um, topic of that video, but I believe it was something to do with ancestral healing. Um, and the, the short answer is yes, absolutely. Um, spiritual work um, on an energy healing type level does not know the boundaries of time and space. It, it, it transcends the boundaries of time and space. Um, I don't have to be physically in the same room. I don't have to be physically um, on the phone at the same time. I don't have to be um, any way connected in real time in order to do work on someone's behalf. Um, but practically speaking, in order to help someone from an ancestral healing perspective, I need to know something about you and your ancestry. Um, I need to know details that I would not recommend putting out there on the internet. Um, and I do not feel comfortable having those conversations in public posts um, on the internet. Um, and so I will say stay tuned because, um, I am in the, the very, very earliest stages of planning for, um, a website 
so that people will be able to reach me. They will be able to um, submit their, their, their questions and their um, work together securely um, through that website, as well as offer um, and receive um, gifts of gratitude um, through that website in the form of, of online payments. Um, because spiritual work comes with a cost. Um, and one of, one of the fundamental ways that our world has um, gotten so out of balance and why it's rebalancing time is the idea of getting something for nothing. The idea of taking without giving in sacred reciprocity. Um, one of the, one of the words for that is Aini, A Y A Y N I. Um, Aini, um, and that is a, a word for the Quechuan people um, in South America. Do you have um, a word? that means um, we are in sacred connection and it's not a, it's not a payment it's not a um, um, it's a it's a gift of gratitude it's a gift of the heart from one to another giving what one has um, and what the other would welcome um, so um, eventually my, my website will be set, set to take up to do that. Um, so until then, um, I won't be able to do individual ancestral healings. Um, and at least not, not through the internet. If we can um, make a connection in person um, where I am here in, in Portland, Oregon, now that's another story. So, um, but the, the medium of doing things online is, um, just needs, needs a little more, um, a little more sacredness, a little more intentionality, um, and in practical purposes, a little more security, um, than just to put all your information out there, um, on the internet where anybody could see, could see it. So, um, what I will say is that t today of all days, if you've been listening to me a while, you hear me, you hear me say that a lot. Um, today of all days seems like a perfect day to be gifting in your own community right where you are. So whenever you see this, whenever you hear this, it doesn't matter if you're not seeing this and hearing this on Monday, December 4th, 2023, at approximately 4, 4 4.30 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it's the fact that you were drawn to see this when you were drawn to see this. And this message, this spark that I'm sending out to you all, you got it. Whenever you see this, you got it today. So that's your day. <laughs> um, that if you, ch if you choose to take that, that spark and continue um, igniting other candles down the road. So um, I have a couple a couple of ways that I um, felt called to, to gift. Um, number one, sometimes I will take a little Ziploc bag because of course we're in the rainy season um, in Portland, Oregon. So putting out a lot of things will you know, just for somebody to find, they might get ruined. So they, they need to be protected with a paper with a plastic bag. Um, otherwise, I don't I don't like using plastic at all. Um, but this one says, "Hello there, neighbor. If you're reading this, you are meant to find this particular gift of the universe. It's yours. Enjoy." And it has a little gift inside of it. Um, there's there. I have ideas for other ones to to put out there. So sometimes they're they're small things. Um, that I like to give, and I've also been on the receiving end 
um, we have um, what's called a little free library. Um, we have little little tiny libraries, a, a box about this big, um, that have books in them that people have donated and people can take and take and receive um, and give freely um, through those little little libraries. And someone gifted exactly what I needed at that time, which was dry erase markers. Um, I had um, received this beautiful gift of a dry erase board and erasers, but I didn't have any markers for it. So rather than buy new markers, I was able to accept that gift and say, yes, that's mine. I, need, I needed those. Thank you so much for the person who passed those on because they weren't using them. Um, another one that I got was what I'm now using as a shaker. Um, was somebody who, le le again, left free. Have a great day for someone who can pick up a coffee cup that says life is a beautiful adventure. And I didn't need another coffee cup, but I walked by it and saw it first time. I left it. Second time, it had actually rolled into the street and become garbage at that point. Um, so I said, okay, that is mine to take. Take that. I'll take that home and make it into a shaker rather than a coffee cup. So um, my, my neighborhood, my local community um, really participates in um, gifting in a lot of ways. And um, I truly, truly believe, and I'm speaking this out there into the universe, and I hope that you will take this into your hearts and speak it out or live it out or act it out however you are called and and however you are um, endowed with a capacity to, to give to others. <sighs> there are so many debts. There are so, there is a crippling, crushing, can't possibly get out from under the load of debt that we humans owe each other and owe to the other beings on this planet. Every act of getting something for nothing that has been perpetrated over thousands and thousands of years and has gone on um, unamended, that, the have, that no amends have been made for it, um, no repairs have been made, no apologies given, no um, restitutions, restitutions paid. There is not enough life force energy available for all the beings who are currently inhabiting planet Earth to give, to pay it all back, to clean it all up. And yet, those of us who are currently alive, those who are currently wearing the meat suits, <laughs> on top of our souls. We're the only ones who can act. We're the only ones who have agency to make things happen and to do it. So there's no one else but us. So as much as possible, extending a complete surprise of a gift to a stranger, to helping, giving, giving a gift to someone you know that they couldn't possibly give themselves, but you have the capacity to give. Or to take some of that very righteous, very righteous anger and hurt and trauma and pain and suffering.
take whatever portion of that you are able and say, I forgive it. We need radical gifting and radical forgiveness if we are going to come up with any kind of sense of dynamic balance, always in motion, but in so many different planes of motion across space and time, not just tick tock, tick tock, back and forth, what you think of as scales for balancing. There are so many more dimensions. <laughs> that are in play at all times. <laughs> and over time, I hope that we'll be able to explore some of those together. So I'm gonna get going because at this time of year, when we are rapidly approaching, we are just about two, little more than two weeks away from the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. Um, it gets dark really early. <laughs> it's, it's already getting quite, quite dark. Um, and I have a couple gifts that I want to go give tonight. So I want to make sure I can get out there before it gets dark. Um, and so somebody might have a chance to see them today. So Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me. <sighs> to all of our collective helping spirits who have been with us um, through this time together, I'll say thank you for being here. If you need to be elsewhere now, I completely understand. I graciously, uh, in gratitude for your presence, and say thank Thank you and see you later. But if you are able to stay, I welcome you and invite you to stay. All of those benevolent helping spirits who have the very best interest of you as an individual, as well as the highest good um, of all beings. That's who I call in. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.